Hello, welcome to week 15 in semester two of World Geography. The purpose of this video is to give you a quick synopsis of the material that we'll be covering throughout the week. First, let's look over our agenda. The lessons that we'll be covering are going to involve looking at the European civilization of, and colonization of Africa, the independence of Africa, living in Africa, and a little bit about the um, Arab Spring and when it comes to looking at current news in the context of current history. Some of the big questions that we're going to be covering are, what are some challenges Africa faced under colonialism and during the struggle for independence? What are some challenges African nations face since gaining independence? What are some geographical features we should make note of in this region? What is the Arab Spring? And what are some reasons to the Arab Spring in North Africa? First, we're going to start off by reviewing the Atlantic slave trade. So in our first lesson of European colonization of Africa, we're going to be looking at the challenges that Africa faced under colonialism and during the struggle for independence. We'll look at the challenges that are being faced since gaining independence by starting off, as mentioned, with the Atlantic slave trade and how several European powers controlled different parts of Africa in the early 1900s. So we're going to be looking at the theme of location, where most French colonies are in this time, and which European nation had the largest presence in Southern Africa. We'll also look at why Europeans wanted to establish colonies in Africa and where. Um, this will involve a lot of map analysis as well, and you'll also be completing like um, a word scramble for Africa and activity that's attached on BC, where you'll use different colored pens and um, some map, map exercises. We'll also um, watch videos regarding this matter. And when we conduct our Arab Spring um, activity, we'll be conducting it in the form of a scavenger hunt when looking at reasons, main ideas, and the causes of the revolts. We'll also look at the importance of social media involved in this. We'll then be moving on to case studies to look at environmental and social issues in Africa, such as the importance of water in Ghana and different, um, you know, struggles that they're facing. We'll also be exploring the economy um, and what, you know, the production and the exports are. We'll also look at apartheid when looking at the independence of Africa and the historical context and events through interactive maps that cover colonial rule and independence of Africa. Some extra practice is also given on some speeches that were um, you know, included in primary resources when we practice our geographical skills and research skills in this course. And then lastly, we'll look at the current news that's going on throughout the week in this region and around the world. Some of the activities that you guys will also be taking part in are interactive galleries, interactive maps, a scavenger hunt, some case studies, our usual lesson checks, and the um, role play of current news on Thursdays that we usually conduct. That's basically it. Um, this week will be very you know, exciting since we're looking at the Arab Spring. A lot of you are interested in that and have a lot of, to say about it. So you'll be encouraged to you know, take part in various discussions and learn more about your own region and culture and the historical um, events that happened um, in the recent years. So if you have any questions um, or concerns that you want to share, you can reach out to me via email or schedule a meeting during office hours. That's basically it. Have a good rest of your week.